But sometimes it's just like, it's an okay line. It's fine. Oh my god, what is this? Samira Rice, holy. Yo? Hello? <laughs> the new experience? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I swear to god, I don't know anything that just happened in the last game. I just pressed the cards that were glowing and it worked out. Nice. So guys, we're gonna check out a new player experience playing my deck for on, in the bronze. That's a kiting. I, I have not played this game before. I installed it a couple days ago. I did the challenges and that's it. That's my experience with the game. I oh. am Iron 4. Oh. This is Iron 4. Iron 4. Right, ba backseat, please. Backseat. No, no, no. I want to see what are you doing. Like, what's your decision Bro. making? Okay, okay. At least tell me after the round ends what I did wrong. Okay. I mean, there is a lot of gray stuff. Like, there is, like, a line that clearly is better. But there are sometimes just, like, it's an okay line. It's fine. Oh my god, what is this? Samira Rice, holy. Okay, my, my gut instinct is I chuck these two. Mm -hmm. I, I'm locked in. Is that right or no? Yeah. I mean, you have no idea what you're playing. You see Samira in opponent's deck. Samira has 2 HP. It's a good instinct to try to kill her. Okay. Oh shit, Opon has uh, nothing turned to. Cards are glowing. Which glow is the best? Mm hmm, sure. Are you supposed to save your coins for your burst turn in this deck? How do you think? Probably. So, like, you save them for the 12 mana set turns, right? It's You can do them even in like turn 8, round 8, 12 mana. What is this? What did you just play? If I'm unique, activate all... What is that? It's a rice uh, special card. I can attack, right? I'm just gonna attack. Yeah, you can. So, you usually use coins either to pop off the fuck out with karma, or you use coins to generate showstopper. Okay. Depending on the situation. You played Rise. Origin. What the fuck is that? There are champions that don't be. They are Rune Terrans and they have special. Start. Yeah. They have special. Delve case. into the. What the fuck? Okay. You can swipe to the right to read what they that does as well. I would just stun it and then to summon something this turn. I don't know if that's a waste or not. Like, because it's a fast, should I wait to see if he attacks and then stun? He won't attack. You want him to attack. You don't want to stun. If he attacks, you are very happy. Do I do... Do I play this then? Because I might as well start discounting. I would play place your bets and keep two mana in case he attacks to kill it off afterwards. And uh, just hold on and I'll have uh, generate a bunch of coins and draw... No, no. I wouldn't play this. I would just play five mana spell. Really? Yes. So you if, if he attacks, you block and you kill it off. Yeah, and now you okay. just pass. So I just yeah. defend and then I... Yeah, yeah it's a good player will, would never do this, because you need a Bryce on board. Uh, you can do this after this combat. This is strictly better than this, right? Uh, Mystic Shot goes phase, but like the high note can uh, go only for units if it's activated. In this matchup, okay, I... it's better to have Mystic Shot in hand, because you, you, uh, you might need it to finish off the Nexus. Really? Okay, yeah. that's surprising. And now you have a two decisions. You can do it after combat or in the combat. You have to think what's better. There are some decks that can technically heal their units, so the, then that there is a merit to do it in combat, but then there is also a chance he'll play some combat trick that will save his units, so there is a merit to do it after combat, so you have to think what's better. I'll just play set here. <laughs> Sounds good. I don't really see anything else to do. Or, I mean, that's a float one mana. I think this is just better. So it's a way to like get used to not f like floating mana is okay. So there is a merit into playing four drop because you could potentially find if you had this serene was in the deck you could predict into serene and play six mana serene next turn. 
So there is a merit into playing 4 drop instead of set, if you know that you don't need to challenge anything this turn. And you push less damage. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna lie, you just said a lot of words, and I just fucking zoned out, like, somewhere around the third word, like you said Serene something, and that was about it. Don't worry about it. Deal 2 to the weakest enemy. Okay. You don't need this knowledge even, like, you can reach Masters without knowing what the fuck you are doing, so it's okay. My my guy just said like fifty words and I okay it's this is a free attack right do these do anything yeah. what do these do played or activated deal to okay don't worry about them just smirk deal one to enemy what grants the three top units what is plunder if your nexus, nexus was yeah yeah yeah. So Kai think is hard. So, so you would have you would have set up Serene this turn. No, you can't set it up I... unless you draw it with Cockling. Cockling reduces the dam uh, the cost of the unit. You cannot coin into Serene because like it only refills the mana, and you you have not like you don't have seven uh, crystals. They are oh, locked. it's capped. Okay, so you can't you can't go above. I see. You can, but you would need to have a ramp card, which uh, gives you an empty crystal. Okay. Would you? I would just. Okay, does this do anything? Summoned or strike? Okay, so I probably don't want to bounce that. Uh, probably just stun the Samira this turn. Sounds good. Okay. You can also wait for him to commit a challenge card to waste the mana and the card from the hand and stun mid-combat. Uh, okay, so I should have waited to do this mid-combat. I would just pass, yeah, with six mana here and wait for him to do something. Because if he pass back, you just get to open attack and kill his Samira. Okay. Why is it 3-3? Three, three? Is it... Oh, it got buffed by the, the card he played last time? Yep. Okay. Uh... People shake. Doing stuff. I would mm, pass... You just pass. If he attacks, you're very happy. So I could just kill it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I just do this and then yes, miss you can. after the... Okay. Yes, that is correct. Huh. So I still get a turn here, right? So you just do this? Yeah. And he has no mana, so you can't even stop it? Huh. I mean, the way this deck was described to me is, uh, if I go into turn 10, I win the game, so. Yeah. So this is the turn 10, so. No, you need three more runs. Random, so. No, no, I know, I'm saying this is the turn 10 card. Yeah. Okay, uh, I would just play this. You have to now ask yourself, is there a merit where I want to open attack or not? Do I want to play this after killing this Samia or not? Opponent uh, is in Noxus. Noxus has a multiple ways in stunning your unit through the slow speed. I see, okay. So, it's better for me to attack directly here and then potentially stun the Samira? Yes, and you also no. upkeep mana for deny in case he doesn't allow you to kill his Samira. And you want to kill Samira. Okay. I can drag this out, right? Because it's mm. Challenger. Okay, and then I commit. And then he might try to buff his own thing, right? It's more about what he, that he can do stuff to your set that you can uh, deny more than a buff. I see. Like you don't care too much about the buffs because your set never dies in combat. What is that? Just draw cards. Just drew Samira. <laughs> Seen you play six up cards. Reset when you start a round with the attack. Okay. He's playing a bunch of cards for now. Nothing uh, too crazy. He just plays two more and then he get levels up Samira, I guess. When yeah. you level up, do you get like extra stats usually? Yes. You can see the leveled up uh, if you uh, right-click the card and swipe. Oh, I'm used to swiping. <laughs> Summon to strike, create a zero-cost flare when you play six up cards. Rally? Oh. Oh, that sounds kind of... That sounds kind of spooky. 
Wait, what's the point of him uh, leveling up the Samir if it's going to die this turn? Because he has two more copies in the deck. And they're going to be leveled up. So Wait, you have... Yeah, next time this takes... So I should actually counter this because he probably has something. Why? Wait, you he's have... out of mana. He's out okay. of mana, right? So yeah, it's... so you can counter, but you have another set in your hand. And it's more valuable to have the nine hand than second set in hand. Wait, I don't, I don't have set. You have. It just turned into the spell. Because if you have second copy of the champion, it turns into the spell. The far left card is a set. Oh, oh, really? Okay, I yeah. didn't know that. But you want to play seven drop this turn anyway. So should I just resolve? Yeah. Because he's out of mana, so... It... So then why did he even play that? Just to get... Just to just level it up? To kill your set. Oh, if you if you level up one of them, do, do the other ones level up as well? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I see. Yeah, you just slump seven so mana probably just and you don't care. Yeah. yeah. What is this? Deal one to everything. Yeah, this is the card he got from the two mana spell. It costs zero. Okay. Why is this cheaper? Oh, right, I played Serene. Yeah. So this deck really just relies on waiting for the coin to go ham with Karma. Have it's, I spent 40? 28 uh -huh. out of 40. What did he just do? Oh, he's... wait. Huh? All of them trigger. When the, another uh, rune is created, the previous they ones trigger. also get three. Yeah. Okay, I just resolved this. Uh, Probably this, so I can start cycling. Sure. Because I'm fishing for to get ready, right? Uh, it's not set. It's... Runes are oh, landmarks. Oh, just FYI. For the content. Oh. Yo, Wait, drop so it. Just... Thanks for the sub. Wait, so if I do this, I just play this. You can. And destroy one. Okay. Choose one of two or you don't have him play. Can't draw one. Okay, he drew. Wait, so what's the... What's the OP one? I mean, at this oh, point man, uh, it doesn't matter which one you destroy because he can, like the next one he'll be generating, uh, he can choose anyway, the one he needs, so it doesn't matter which one you destroy. Oh, are there only six of them? Five. Five. Oh, it's one of two? Picks one of two? Yeah. So I just destroy any of them? Yeah. What? Two to the weakest enemy. I don't think that matters. Resolve. I'll just destroy one anyway. Is this even worth? I don't I know. Might as well. Uh, I want enough mana to at least. Okay, he has three spell. I think it's okay. I want the so this is the right. part where you start thinking what you want to do. Like at, until the, here, there is not much thinking that you have to do. But now to yeah. close the game. Uh, so I think I want to play. Wait, this only hits this, and I don't want to hit this, right? So, because this is kind of pointless right now. Uh, wait, it's okay, it's his turn to attack. Uh, okay, so it's almost time to go ham. Uh, I would play set here. No, I should spend mana first, right? But actually, no. There's nothing to spend mana on. My hand's just. AFK. Right? Like, there's there's actually nothing. You can spend mana on the units to I, I threaten that, his right? nexus. And if he develops anything, you can generate showstopper to obliterate anything. How come the, the cards, his, like, his choice covers the middle? Like, why doesn't it just go up here so I can look at what it is? Like, it's covering the, the action bar, or the, the thing, right? Predict, then draw one. Okay. He does it again. Because it's like you, you can't do anything meanwhile this action, so it doesn't matter. Like it shows you that what that there is an action happening. So ideally I spend two mana so that next turn I Oh well, okay, it happens no matter what, right? Because it's He ongoing. levels up no matter what, but it's about yeah. to generate Shoutstopper you need to spend exactly twelve or more mana in one round and it resets. Yeah, but, okay, but does it only start counting the twelve after he levels up? No, it, it counts you can generate it on level up right away. 
Okay, so right here I think I just hit and that's it. You can play just a one drop to soft pass to see what he does. Because you can oh. develop karma, you can remove blocker and uh, kill him this turn. Is this no? But I'm third. I'm I'm too short, right? No, you have coins. You can spend to d develop more. You see how many stacks of the coins do you have? Yes. Yeah, so you see, you can get even. You can get uh, three more mana for a unit mana. So you are up. Uh, you'll be up mana. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's it makes it more card. expensive. Yeah. So you probably. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. So okay. by playing coin, you'll uh, generate now the showstopper. Really? I did I play enough? No, if you play coin into karma, you you generate showstopper. One eight plus five. That's thirteen. That's exactly Does twelve mana. If you play Karma afterwards, yeah, it's gonna be, give you Showstopper. Because it's this costs one, but it refills three, so I get three extra. And then I float one. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So now I play this. And now, obviously, I don't want to obliterate that. Alright, so... What does Attune mean? Summon refill one spell mana. Okay. Can I just like threaten face this turn? Just everything face? Yeah, but I would remove the blocker first before the. Because he has a stun in hand that you can see. So he's gonna uh, stun set anyway. Or like if you challenge it, he's gonna stun karma to prevent the damage to face. So you want to make sure opponent. What? Madge. Yeah, that's what usually happens. You drop karma, they can't remove karma, they concede. That's what happens usually. Turn 9 the karma, in going into turn 10, if a pawn cannot deal with it, they concede. That's usually my experience. Wait, so you don't even get to play the miracle turn? You're playing yeah. miracle rogue without the fucking... What? Yeah, they just concede you usually. You drop stealth and then they FF yeah. and they don't yep. even let you play your miracle turn? Yep, exactly. That's so rude, what the fuck? That's BM as fuck. Yep. Wait, so okay, what is your, your actual pattern when you hit 10 with karma? You start, like, like you have, place your bed, generate, like, draws you two card, four cards with karma, and it gives you four coins. And those four coins uh, give you seven mana. So by playing every place your bed, you're up to mana. So, like, it's important to keep them for the karma turn. And if they are discounted, it gives you five extra mana every time you play uh, place your bets. So you shuffle, you draw your whole deck in a turn. It's, like, pretty much Miracle Rogue. Mm. Okay, so, I haven't even seen level, like, I haven't seen 10 mana yet, so I'm pretty sure... It's, it's just one of those things where I, I... I would keep this and then remove these, like, get rid of these. I would keep set. Oh, okay. You would only keep one, though, right? Yeah. Almost? Just to guarantee you have a turn 5 play? Yeah, like, this matchup... Like, they have play a champion that you cannot target with spells, so you need to challenge... To, to kill it, you need to either play AoE or challenge it. Challenge it is way better. This deck only has one AoE, right? The one damage one? Yeah, it ha it has three copies of it. But opponent has a way to buff his units. <laughs> it's still good in this matchup. Yeah, that's the champion you cannot target with spells. Hmm. Wait, so you're telling me I can't Mystic Shot it next turn? Because he might have a, a spell that... Just targeting. assume you can't target it. They have even zero mana in the deck. War card that uh, they can prevent it. You just you assume you don't, unless you yeah. absolutely have to, or you have a read they don't have. Oh, what, what happens if I target it? The do I spell back, or does it just disappear? No, no, like does it disappear? Yep. Or like like, okay, so it just it's disappear. just gone. So I should just pass here. Yeah. That's the beauty of spell mana. You get to pass turn one, turn two without any punish. Yeah, that's kind of weird to get used to. Okay, that's definitely... It. Uh, wait, this only targets fit, like, stops yes. fit target, right? Okay, so now I can Mystic Shot. You can. Is it better to use this because it costs more mana? No, you need this for... This is for a different, specific 5 mana drop in this in this deck. We pl we played... There is a Luzi 3-3 that you want to kill with the Aftershock. I see. 
So Mystic Shaw is just here to deal with Samira. Fuck Samira. Yeah, it's also important. You know, I, play, to... I played four games and every game has a Samira in it. Yeah, it's a new champion. It's flashy, it's cool. Okay, I feel good because I have a lot of removal. Makes me feel safe. A warning a... shot. <clears throat> Refill one spell mana and create a random one cost spell from the regions to your hand. That doesn't seem super high priority, but. Because at this point when you played, if you damage the enemy next to Okay, so he already got the value out of it. It's probably not worth stunning anything right now, although it slows down their damage and gives me a 3 2. Maybe just have it getting the minion is worth it, so I don't float too much mana. Is You're... tempo a thing in this game? Yes, but uh, they can kill you before you can kill them. This specific no, like, deck. like, is. Oh. Uh, so I should actually play this then to slow it down? You actively That's... want to remove their stuff. The problem with Palm, it doesn't remove stuff. And you cannot block elusives with the unit that generates uh, generated by palm. There is still a so chance. So basically, they... the value here is just to kill this, so that because stun only lasts for one turn anyway, and the three exactly. is kind of pointless. And you so you drew second. If possible. you didn't draw second after shock, you'd palm. But since you have another one for their five turn play, you can do this. Okay. And this just eat the face damage. How cheap is this deck that this person already got all the cards? Well, that's a great question oh, because we we did the math. It's thirty. Bit. It's thirty dollars to craft this deck. Thirty dollars from. But you could. But the good thing is you can buy pass, which gives you karma. So yeah, you can save ten thing. bucks and get a full pass value. And the oh, karma costs exactly the same amount if you just buy her in co with coins. I would play place your bets here because I don't want to float that much mana. Why this deck? Because it's easy before turn nine, and then turn nine you can you can learn the game. Oh, I would have All passed right. here. You want next turn? Oh, you want, you have so next okay. turn you want to develop set and have free floating, uh, free, and you want to have free spell mana. Oh, so you would you would have just floated some mana there? I would have open pass. Yeah, it's called open pass. Okay. Hmm. Because now if I play set, I can't do anything else. Okay, I understand. Because I know the like, but that comes from uh, knowing the the deck, and like knowing what opponent can do on turn five. If you don't know, that I have to remove, right? Yeah, but if he if opponent starts with this, there is yeah he doesn't have it. So like you're free to just just take the damage and play set after, and you start clearing with the set. I just come from a world where floating mana is a big no-no. Yeah. That's a nice change. That's this? probably the best design. When you activate... Yeah, this looks cool. What the fuck? When you activate Plunder, draw one and give it fleeting. Kiting is a man... Uh, is a jack of all trades. He played all the games. Yeah. He played Hearthstone. If you guys didn't pick up the auction your stealth uh, <laughs> reference, I'm speaking, yeah. Oh, I I don't I've never played MTG. Actually, I think I played like one game when it was on online. Uh, is four okay? What's the max hand size? Ten. Ten. Oh, that's a good question. Nine, that's an excellent so. question. So I can I'm safe to play this. No, because if you. Play anything, my opponent might stun your set and you don't get to remove anything. Priority is oh, so it's worth for me to just attack right away. Yes, and develop after the attack. Uh... No, so you, we you need to challenge. Well, I rip. Oh. Oops. Bro, I forgot that you can, like, you have to... Okay, whatever. So I was supposed to remove the fizz. Yeah. Uh. It's okay. Well, now that pretend he Pretend he's dead. I mean, I thought you remember, you challenged the last uh, last game, Samira. I, I, okay, I'm not used to the UI, I didn't realize that like, that when the orange thing glows, I meant that I had to drag one. Oops. Okay, no diff, no diff, I draw AoE this turn. Yeah, but AoE doesn't kill Fizz because he'll be 2 HP after level up. 
Oh. That's not good. It's okay. No deal. No big deal. Mm -hmm. No diff, no diff. Yeah. Hmm. It feels like a diff. I'm looking at board state. It feels like a diff, but it's okay. No diff copium. Destroy units, equipment, and deal to equipment. You don't have equipment in the deck. It's just deal to, to for two mana. Deal. Okay. I mean, I, I just ignore that now. Yep. Uh, do I develop now? Like, you have to realize the board state and what's happening across the uh, next I have turns. to delete something, right? Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm going to take a lot of damage. I, I'm 8 HP. This is not good. Uh, do I, okay, stun only lasts for my turn, right? Yeah. You want so to... I can't even, I don't want to stun here, so I need to make sure I have four mana to play this next turn. So shouldn't I, shouldn't I play one of these, or do, do I not want to let him develop another turn? Or like a, another card? I would just play this, and then flip Okay, three. do that then. I mean, okay, I know it's wrong based on your, your voice, but I just want to see what happens. I mean, or you should consider playing Coastal Formula. But and count your cards and think if you can do that. Mm, I see. Just cons consider, like, considering it should be an option for you. This is the right play because you would not have enough hand space. No, I know. That's that's why I said I wouldn't play that this turn, right? Oh, I didn't hear my bad. Yeah, but no. that was completely correct. Like, that's not the master players even do what you just did. So, good job. So I okay, I'm getting concerned. Where okay, can I stun two enemies? You can. You can I even gen okay. you can even generate heart stopper. I think this turn. I'm not sure if your level up progression on the set, but I uh, no you 40. no you can't. That's too much. I I would just play the stun. Okay. This is too much damage coming in. Sure, do that. I would stun these two. Okay, see what happens. Uh, okay. Your voice makes it sound like it's bad, but... Sure. I mean, there is oh, a learning does he have process. A, does he have something to counter the spell? Does he have something to counter the spell? Let's find out. Okay. I... <laughs> sure. Uh... I mean, I just play formula then, no? No, the stun process was fine. Are you sure? Whatever. Just I'm the wrong targets. Oh, do I have to stop this one? Why? Why is it the wrong targets? That's why. Oh, oh. I thought it was like it would only prevent the hit on him. It wouldn't prevent anything else, right? That's why exactly you needed to do that to learn. Okay. No, because okay, I thought the spell had two effects, right? Like it would hit both of them. And then the fizz one might fizzle once he plays a spell, and then it would still hit Samira. Okay, mm -hmm. whatever. Learning, learning opportunity. Deal one to anything and stun an enemy. You have elusive in the hand as well, by the way. Oh, I do. Yes, but opponent can challenge it technically. I mean, I just let this hit. All right, yeah. I'm fucking dizzy. Whatever. I feel like I'm gonna die. Playing elusive sounds like a good idea, Avo. Yes, I need to block. Oh, I need that. You found another elusive or removal? I think I think it's removal here for sure. I think it's elusive. Why? Because to it's gonna be one? zero mana and you don't have mana to play removal coin palm if you need to. Removal coin palm? Why do I not have mana to do that? Because you're gonna be short mana. And you can play acorn into coin palm. If you need to. Oh wait, am I am I at two mana right now? Yes. Oh okay, I thought it was okay. Sure. So elusive, coin palm. Do coins always give three? 
No, you they you have stacks of them. Like it depends Destroy how many. Destroy a unit's equipment and deal two to it. I don't want that. It's okay. That's, That's why okay. you picked another elusive. Okay. I mean, I guess I. Now I play this one. Yeah. I just need to make sure I block the fizz. I guess. Hmm. This doesn't look good. So I coin here for sure, and then I have to stun. I can't stun the fizz. I just block it with the one one. Deal with it next time. I should palm the Samira. That sounds like a play. And then uh, four two in front of the one five, I guess. You uh, can't block n elusive with non elusive. Oh wait, that's elusive. Okay. Do I? Okay. That's kind of troll, no? But I am I not you just gonna to... die soon? I mean, that's like, I the great to, right? question. You have to make decision. Like I just have to, right? Like I'm gonna I fucking know. die. I, I'm actually gonna die. No. Like he he has three. No, like I'm. Okay, what if I stun this one and I put set here and just hope he doesn't have anything? Sure. Wait, is strike only hitting? Yes, okay, it'll prevent the strike. But also, he didn't use the Samira spell, so like he can't generate another one. But yeah, whatever. The I'm I'm just gonna I'll, I'll just do this. Whatever. I I thought stunning this one and then putting set here, so I at least can kill this and I could deal with two one next time. This is not good. Where is my AOE? Hmm. Also, I don't have a Karma in hand, so even... You're gonna be drawing five... You can draw five cards next turn. <laughs> like, the Karma is not your concern right now. You're be I'm way not, behind I'm, because I'm, uh, of few experimental lines. Like not challenging I, I mean, I fees, that... event. I I wouldn't. I don't know if you would call that experimental. I'm for sure it's a wrong. <laughs> that's a meme. Yeah, what is that's a misplay. B. It it's uh, it just showcase of her level up progression to you. Okay, I would play formula here. I I wouldn't play this first. I would play formula first. See if I can find something else. Right. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Oh, actually playing this one's better, right? Cause lower mana. Oh. Okay, does this get fuck me because of the fizz? No, it's not targeting. Okay. Uh, I would play this. I would probably remove Samira this turn. Rem oh. Like aftershock it? Yeah. I just hope he doesn't have whatever that three three card. You're talking about? I mean, at this point, you are not in this position where you can play around anything. I shouldn't commit this yet, right? So, like, he can level her up so she goes to one HP higher, but after shock deal is free. If he has all out, she survives regardless. But that's like Van and Fizz, he can survive if he has all out, so it doesn't matter to you. Bro, I'm so dizzy. <clears throat> it's okay. Deal one to Nexus. Oh, it's not. It's not looking good. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't look good. All right. How how long you think if I if I sweat this deck? How long before I hit plat with this deck? I I don't know how the rating system works, but whatever. You can hit it, it today. Sus. I, I mean, if you don't a. make like super like super common mistakes like you did this game, you're gonna hit today. I just okay. I would just resolve and then try to play this after. You, you can play, play it next turn. You don't need to play this now because you, yeah. it can be surprise factor. Opponent might develop a bunch of other one HP units. Yeah. So I should not. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh. You might be dead. If he's. I I feel a little dead. Oh, he's gonna rally. What does rally do? He game, gains oh, an dead. attack token. Okay. Well, I am dead. You are dead. Dead. I mean, Wait, you're so at one over, HP. You are. You are okay. You are dead. You're exa He has exactly talent board. 
I mean, he played does a strong it... unit at the buff, but that's okay. Does he overwrite the uh, my attack with his attack? No, you both have attack. Uh, I mean, okay, I have to do this. Yeah, but wait, how, okay. So how does the yeah how does the order work? Like, mm -hmm. uh, wait, why am I still dead? Because Cause... Samira will generate a spell that kills you. Okay. Dodge. Okay, so the fizz. Okay, lesson learned. Don't target fizz with. Spells. That's what I said. The fizz is unpargetable unless you absolutely have to. Okay, I I thought okay because you brought up AOE and I just in my head I associated the two target spell with AOE. I see. So... AOE means to all enemies or all units or Cause, stuff like okay. that. Okay, because I thought it like at worst case scenario like I didn't know it would straight up just fizzle the the thing. That's kind of what the fuck. I mean, if you challenge the fizz, the game was won on turn five pretty much. On turn six, you yeah. can attack on turn six. Yeah, I'm gonna go to so... toilet, beer basic. Oops. What's up, chat? You say hi in chat. Hello. I'm doing a thing where I, uh, I'm trying to rank up in every single league game. So I'm playing League, Valorant, TFT, and this at the same time. And I'm trying to hit the highest elo in every single one. What's your highest Hearthstone rank? Uh, I think like, it was double digits, but it was like a while ago. 60 something? Oh, uh, Legend, Legend 60 something. Clarify. Okay, let's see how I would mulligan. I would like some removal, obviously not holding these two. Uh, Karma's way too late game. Having the elusive, okay, what's the matchup? Wait, how do I how do I see the matchup? Like, am I supposed to recognize? What the are you playing against? Uh, I don't know. I didn't see. I was. You can hover the right? mouse of the over opponent's deck. Oh wait, where? Opponent's deck on the board. Oh. Yeah. Gwen Quinn. Okay. Uh, I don't know if they have elusive, but I'm down to just do this. I think that's a good mulligan. You are letting your nexus reach zero before you get your opponent nexus reach zero. Don't do that. That actually makes sense. I would agree with that. Okay, I'm down to just play this. Actually, isn't it worth just floating mana? Do I have more options? Depends what he can do in turn one and what he can do turn two. And uh, if it's better for you I to open attack. Do. Five mana, three So pretty five. much developing now allows you to open attack in case he has a two mana elusive that will prevent you from attacking on turn two. Since you don't know okay. that, if you don't know that, you just slap it. I, I think logically speaking, it's better just to play it because it's only upside, right? I was gonna... Mm -hmm. This seems like a waste. Kill a unit with total power and health of 4 or less. Well, I guess it doesn't hit that many things. This is the best target in your deck. Yeah, I mean... Seems like a bit of a waste. I guess he just wanted to slow... I, I'm not used to the 20 HP thing. Like, HP goes down a lot faster than... So guys, so, a little background. Kiting is a good friend. He has the challenge of reaching to master at every Riot's game. So we are giving him a little hand. Uh, he asked me what deck. I thought about like, there is no good aggro deck now that you don't have auto loose uh, with anything. Samira is too hard to play. And this deck is uh, easy to play until turn eight. And the decisions start mattering a lot after turn eight. So like, I figured that would be the best deck for him. And this deck has no auto loose matchups. That looks like a must insta kill. Correct. Like Some your deck is excellent things. into the, this deck. This is usually auto win for you. Mm. You have excellent well, handle. Watch well. as how I do what most top players cannot and turn an auto win into a loss. Oh, trust me, there is very little, like. There's no good players in lore. I mean, okay, we have few maybe good players now. Like, mo most of the peers are mediocre at the best. A classic Alan ego. Oh, I'm not yeah. saying I am good. I didn't say that. Hmm. I'm just saying Lore has very little good players. Wait, I should have attacked. Huh. Hmm. I mean, non-attacking non potentially bluffs as well if you open pass. 
When I'm summoned, summon a go. What 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 is this? After I die for the rest of the game, when allies attack, <coughs> give your first attacker plus one. Is this does this stack? I don't know, Taga, if he's playing. Yes, it does. You can so like eventually there. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can click on opponent's deck to see how many stacks he has. So so shy. Is it worth attacking here? Because no. he potentially has removal. I don't know what his removal could I be. I mean, you don't want to attack because he'll block and you'll lower HP on your unit for no reason. Like, it's Fmira. It's gonna disappear anyway. Oh. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know that. Oh, and it gives him a stack. I see. And so it keeps stacking up his first attacker every turn. What is this? When another... Ally gains power from Hallowed, so do I. Okay, so you... Okay. Drain 2, healer nexus for, from the enemy nexus. On attack. So I don't want that thing to attack. But... I, I want to have responses here, right? So should I pass? Or should I develop set? Because they develop, so I should develop too. I would play set normally. That way it also threatens the Gwen. Okay, do that. There is a punish if you don't block. Like, now you can... So basically, there is a bluffing that can happen. Uh, by attacking the opponent, can uh, bluff buff. But if you don't block, opponent can also cataclysm your set up after combat, which is more likely than the buff. So now you have to what play a cataclysm? guessing game. It gets to challenge your unit. Uh, it, it drags your unit into the combat, and Gwen will get one more damage. So basically, I would just do this. You I don't have to block the other one. Yeah, just oh, it's a f oh, just let it die. Okay, yeah, I, I think it's. Cor I would block uh, Gwen, but it's a guessing game. You and either play. Worst case, I have this right. Like, doesn't it, it get one HP? It doesn't do anything if he has a buff because she has quick attack. Oh. Uh oh. The, oh, Kill now an ally. you can respond to that. On the other hand. Okay. Kill an ally to deal three to a unit and summon a random. So if I kill the unit that it's trying to kill, then it doesn't it's work, physics, right? Yes. So, so I should just do this. Yeah. Okay. I gotta be really careful with the spell fizzling thing. Kill an ally to draw two. That you don't Okay, really now I can't care. do anything. Yeah. I mean, so, it's fine. So basically, this one gets worry. fizzled, and then... Yeah, you kill Gwen. And then this goes to a 4-1. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Can't play so this is very unique. interesting turn now because like this I is... think it's correct to pass just in case I run out of mana, right? Because I might need to ha do some form of removal. The other option is to play this one. I would not play Karma. Okay, do that then. It's it's either pass or play this. I don't think playing Karma is correct because it puts it in threat, right? So, mm -hmm. passing here is correct. Is it, it's like you want to spell attacking. mana, so yeah, threatening attack token is more important than attacking here. So I agree completely about just uh, playing uh, you. You either play place your bets or formula this turn because now you get punished for because opponent can just pass back and you didn't get anything from pass, open passing, and that's why so you that's why you wanted to play one of the draw spells to threaten him. Hmm. Okay. Now, okay. I want to bait out this. Okay. When I'm summon summon valor, valor. Okay. So eventually, I will probably be playing this this turn. Uh, so it's probably best for me to play a draw. Now you pass. This is three you mana, five, I have ten. So I, I want to wait, right? Because I can play these during the, Your, the combat. This so. turn, it's most likely Caustic Reef Mystic Shot and play a new set after the current one dies. Oh, right, I can play after. Okay, I forget about that. You can play in combat stuff here, depending what he does. If he does this... I Mystic Shot this one, right? To save my set? Or actually, no, I Caustic Rift because this will... So what what happens if I Caustic Rift? You st what you can do here, uh, block here first, yeah? Yeah, and then I would 
Caustic Rift first, and then mm -hmm. I would Mystic Shot if after he tries combat. Anything else. Yeah. Technically, it's better to start with Mystic Shot, but if you want to bluff, if you expect another. Uh, the two mana removal, I don't remember its name, the spike, and then play Mystic Shot, but like, and then you can respond to Caustic Reef to, uh, to the removal. Because you technically want to Mystic Shit Queen after the combat. But then you can't, like, if he doesn't have it, you can't do anything about it. He's killing an ally to draw two. Okay, yeah. so... You want to kill Queen now before uh, this result. You want to put Mystic on stack now. Mystic Shot on Wait. the Queen. Because he can draw buff like, that like, will... Because she does, she needs to die. Otherwise she doesn't die, she no, attacks it's... again. Why does she... Wait. Okay, I'm, I'm misunderstanding something here. First time only scout units attack each round ready your attack. She's gonna be at 1 HP after combat. And she can attack yeah, again. Yeah. And spawn another Oh, she one. can attack again? Yes. Okay. I see. Wait, where does it say she can scout summon a two one scout it's only? Scout oh, it, like your uh, because of the fire. So when uh, by uh, when scout attacks, you get a attack token, which means that you are summoning two one. So he can develop another unit and attack this turn. You have to check how many hollow stacks he has. To the to the distinguish if you want to block this turn or not. If you don't care about blocking. Uh, you can play Karma. Because... It's a lot of damage, right? Because it's ramping the first attack. Is that a lot? Yeah, but I think you don't care. You're at so high HP, you can even uh, just slam Karma and don't care. He really? can't kill your Karma oh, this time. turn. Well, yeah, three. Okay. But I don't have any anti thing, so one. Uh, you don't care right about turn? whatever he ad he plays. You don't care about it. You Why? just take the damage. Because you don't want him to pass back now and flow, like lose mana, and you want to like karma can generate you extra cards, and in those region karma cards are usually good generation, and you get a nice turn. Now you can open pass this turn. You'll see if we die obliterated instead. Okay, so just giga removal. Now I pass here, right? Cause... Now you don't want to draw because he has too much mana, which can lead into him playing uh, multiple units into cataclysm and the rally with scout. So this time, you just open pass. My guy just used words as though I would understand what they Yeah, mean. I know, I'm sorry, but like, oh. I just, just trust me, I just... Yeah, now you want to kill this. Okay. So I would just obliterate that. No, just challenge it with set. Revive and attack, attack with karma. Ephemeral copy of the... Yo, Wait, what, what you do, you just run? attack with set and karma, remember about challenge. Okay, so I... Yes. Do this, and and attack I with do karma, this. yes. And then I and pass. No, you don't do it. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah. You can. Yeah, because you want. Uh, there, he might do something like cataclysm. He might just yeah, because you are in iron. Open might just misplay. And throw a card. Oh, I get a bear. Okay, I see. So I get a barrier. Okay. Now mystic shot after combat. Okay. So now I mystic shot. Yep. And then. How much mana did I start with this turn? I Eight. Grant an ally tough. Okay, well. He can't Cataclysm can't anymore. No, just a Hex Bliterator. It's fine. Really? On that? Yeah. Yes, it's worth it. Attack, revive an attacking ephemeral copy of the strongest dead ally. Oh. Okay. It's gonna revive Queen. Yeah. That will spawn a Valor. So this whole game is just revolving around the, the champions. Yeah, Probably. you're the killer. Like you play mid game, like your set stabilizes you mid game, and Karma is like your finisher with the set later on. That's the summon garbage. An elite reduce what? Wait, Never. Why did it change a bunch of times? Because it's you have a card that changes every turn. I see. Give enemies vulnerable. What does vulnerable do? Enemy can challenge this unit, forcing it to block. Oh, okay. How many coins do you have? One coin. Or I coin. have one. So Five. I should. I should. Uh, I should play one of these. You're playing place. your yes. You'll be playing because you want to level up set this turn, and you want to stand. You might as well cataclysm. You want to find the knight potentially. Uh, coins. Uh, it doesn't matter if you play formula. It's better to play formula first. 
Because it's the same thing, but this generates more mana, right? You want to stun it now, for sure. So I'm stunning just to make sure this doesn't attack, Yes. Because right? that one's spooky as fuck, and then the other one's probably this one. I can't mm, read it. Can you right can yeah, you stun the two one, and because of the other one you can remove. I With can't. the card. With this one? Yeah. If you need to. Why can't I remove this one then? Because you don't care about removing a mirror unit that's gonna die anyway. Okay. That makes sense. So I'm basically getting more value out of this. And this turn you can obliterate also the other guy. Like you don't care overall about removing stuff. This turn you're probably playing a coin into as long stuff. As I reach 12, right? Yeah. Coin plus. Well, this gets me 12 already, so I don't even need a coin. Hold up, hold up, because you're, like, you want to obliterate now, you need to get the showstopper at the uh, at the burst speed, so he doesn't get to attack at all. So you want to play, technically, Karma... Oh, I in... want to play Obliterate this turn. Just, no, 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 just wait. Just play Karma Inside. The spell that's 2 mana, because this is a burst, yes. And obliterate the the, the unit, the 3-6. Oh, isn't it stunned? Trust, just play it. You have no time. It deals one to everything. Wait, okay. Mm -hmm. You stun so because... Because mm -hmm. he can't respond this turn? Is that why? Yes, you didn't want to give moment? him uh, initiative. Okay, I see. And you just so win after you open problems. attack. Yeah, you have little. Go figure. How? Guaranteed. All right. So, so how? Okay. So, I just open attack first. Mm -hmm. What does this do? Create a hand when you play a spell copy with it. No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Please just let me play one turn of karma. <laughs> I mean, that's get used. To it. That's good. You save time. No, you wanted a fast deck. I, no, you know what the problem is? I'm going to climb, not knowing how to play the karma turn. <laughs> And then eventually I will run into someone who doesn't FF and I will have no idea what to press and I will lose with a 10 mana karma. Like, you know it's coming. It's going to happen. Uh, pain. So, like, knowing the... Okay, what, what, would I, what, would it, what was I supposed to do there? So, what's the order of operations? I open hit first. You have to use stun then... to spend enough mana for the set to get the level up, the generational stopper condition. You have to stun the, the unit, that uh, the free 6 because if he swings, he summons Queen, that summons uh, Valor, and he gets uh, overall he gets a lot of pressure on you, and you have no blockers for that. So you want to prevent you're, that you're attack. Talking turn, you're talking about the turn where I use the... Uh, the last turn, before the... yes. Make sure you subscribe, so you don't miss out on the next video, and let us know what you think uh, about that one. Kurwa mat! <laughs>